Hey guys, that is the 87 Chevrolet pickup truck. There is a lot of crap I could talk about right now with that, but I'm not going to because I'm not ready for that yet. But there is a new seat in there. The, the factory seat was in terrible condition. It had the support bar like next to your tailbone where the foam had worn through. So if you can imagine like jumping from four feet like in the air and then landing on like a freaking concrete block, that's what it felt like to drive the truck. The seat I put in there though, it is from a fourth gen Ram. It is comfortable, it looks nice, and most importantly, it seats three. I want the capability to cruise with three people. I get that it is not the most insane seat swap in a square body ever. Like I really don't need people to be like, yo dude, my buddy's brother's friend, he did the sickest seat swap you could imagine into a square body, and what he did was he found the sickest interior he could. It was straight out of a Duramax Platinum Edition with the big horn badges and the Lariat Laramie package. It had captain's buckets you could sit right in, man, so comfortable, with the center console up in the middle that you could store your vapes in, dude. Okay, okay, I get it. It's not as nice as the Duramax Laramie Lariat package deal with the Bighorn. Let's check it out. Within this bed of my 20-year-old truck sits an interesting piece I just picked up. The rear seat of a 4th gen Ram. The driver's side is severely roughed up. That was the last bolt. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that um, if anybody else is doing this, make sure you do it by yourself. Decline any help from a friend or anything because it's, it's like not awkward to do. So don't ask for help. Just do it yourself. Try to scratch your paint if you can. For what it's worth, I've only had this like three weeks. This is not for me. Pretty nasty under here. Uh, so I'm gonna vacuum this out. Uh, I could see myself replacing this here at some point. That looks a lot nicer. Guys, I'm finally finished. This is exciting. I didn't think I could do it, but it looks so good. Hey guys, it's really hot out here. Um, I left a brand new stick of deodorant in my truck. It's totaled out. I have the seat for sale if you guys need it. Like 80 bucks or something. It was two inches wider than the factory seat and I definitely had to get creative on the mounting points. So the rear is definitely way different. I have it mounted on this raised section. If you're familiar with the square body, you know what I'm talking about. And it's actually reinforced underneath, which is necessary for mounting a seat safely. So I drilled a hole through it, um, the cab and the reinforcement plate and uh, you know, bolted it down with some grade A hardware. I have that lighter door. Just gotta put it back in. I have the plastic piece for this guy as well. Just not back on yet. Um, and I've considered some gray seat belts that might look kind of nice. I was able to utilize the factory mounting points. There's the buggy drive shaft. It's all gloss black now. I don't know when this video is getting posted, but it needs to go back in. 
and what he did was he found the sickest interior he could. It was straight out of a Duramax Platinum Edition with the big horn badges and the Lariat Laramie package.